Mumbai is a colorful city. People are very nice and genuine. Uh, they would uh, help you wherever you ask for some help, they would help you. Uh, they don't really cheat on you. If you're sick and you want to see someone, they will like advise you, very, be very generous. Mumbai, the city as seen today, is a set of seven islets. Today, it is a good example of herbs or city, as a symbol of harsh modern life. Post-independence, uh, Mumbai was a natural choice for being a financial capital, and uh, it has uh, two of the biggest exchanges in the world, that is the BSC and the NSC which has some of the Fortune 500 companies listed on them. Uh, in terms of uh, contribution to the nation, it has 40% uh, of the income tax collected by the nation is contributed by Mumbai. And uh, in terms of customs, 60% uh, of the customs is collected from Mumbai. So, which makes it uh, quite significant uh, for the government. There's a huge uh, amount of interest in terms of institutional investors uh, uh, for the real estate as uh, you have top h and uh, uh, of the country living in uh, Mumbai which has uh, made uh, Indian real estate uh, one of the top uh, two most expensive uh, uh, categories to purchase or live in. So say for example if you want to buy an apartment in uh, South Mumbai uh, it might be uh, a, at, at a cost which is equivalent to uh, an apartment at uh, maybe Manhattan or maybe even expensive than that. There is an element of humanization in provision of open spaces for this city. The city has a cultural and social legacy which is seasoned over a long time. Congruent activities need to be addressed from the changing needs and new challenges. As uh, time has passed, I, I guess the Mumbai uh, city has lost its charm. People have uh, more income now, so they don't travel in bus, they have their own cars. We don't see kids enjoying outside, experiencing the uh, whole Mumbai uh, thing that is there, like eating outside, or playing with their friends. Uh, they are more into uh, their computers or tablets or cell phones, playing games on that, socializing on Facebook and stuff like that. So, uh, the whole fun element uh, is actually missing. When one plants a city, the streets are the most carefully handled elements. A street is the space between the polygons, which later on becomes buildings. This is supposed to be claimed by nobody but the government. At times, a dehumanizing factor arises when informal claimants occupy streets. In any cosmopolitan city, it's the public space which makes its herbs primo. Markets, wide open spaces, fountains, gardens, street corners, food stalls and trees. In Mumbai, these spaces bring about the social aspects of a society mixed with livelihood activities. Sometimes, these spaces are undefined, unenclosed, and mostly unmappable. But here, the worlds meet each other. Religions live together. And modernity and ethnicity gets nurtured. 2014, ICSID Inner Design Workshop held in Mumbai, India at We School, India's premier business school, will be addressing some of the concerns narrated by the people of Mumbai. We School, which is one of the front runner in the business school space in India and a part of one of the oldest public charitable trust, SP Mandali, with a legacy of 125 years and with 63 institutions in the country, with more than 60,000 students and some of the best schools and colleges, business schools under its fold, jointly hosting interdesign workshop with ICSID with the theme of humanizing metropolis in February 2014. Design thinking is embedded in a way of life for V school. 
and the challenges which we face in our society has been dissolved with the design approach and I'm confident this interdesign workshop which will be comprising of and honored by the presence of the inter international designers and the national designers who will come to Mumbai, India and the reputation of the city which never sleeps and the vibrant city in Mumbai with affection and warmth will welcome you all. The V School family is looking forward to receive you in February 2014 in Mumbai. Thank you very much.